horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. This is a story of one of the most mysterious characters to appear in the early days of the West. He was a fabulous individual. A man whose presence brought fear to the lawless and hope to those who wanted to make this frontier land their home. He was known as the Lone Ranger. Just like him, don't I? And those clothes. That's right. You're going to look even more like him. What? Get your clothes off, Emmett. What? Undress. You want to play the part good, don't you? Me and that? Somebody take a shot at me. Come on. Hey, let me go. Get this is part of the deal. Hold still here. Here, use these. I'm going to keep them on. I don't know if those things will work. <laughs> All right, if things don't work out like we planned, you'll need your own gun. Thanks. How to dress and conduct yourself in the great outdoor spaces of the West. <laughs> I can't go through with this. We all waited six years for this. You'll go through with it. Let's go, kid. He's dead. All right, Emmett, get up here and drive this stagecoach into town. And don't drive too good. Remember, you're a tenderfoot. Tell him a good story about what happened out here. And don't forget your name. What is your name? Bob Walker. I've been to school in Boston, and my pa was Sixkin Walker. The wildest rootness, tootness glue that ever throwed hot lead. Does he sound like one of them guys that been going to them fancy Eastern schools? I don't know, but he'll have to do. We'll see you in town. And remember, you don't know us. Now get going. I'll take care of that mask, man. Hold it. We don't want to take a chance on being recognized. Walker's done for. Let's go back to town. Yeah, why not? They got away, Tonto. Him still breathe, Kimosabe. What do we do? You ride to Tuckerville and get a doctor. Uh, me do. I don't want anybody to know this boy is alive until I've talked with him. Help me get him across the saddle, and then I'll meet you with a line shack later.
home, son. Hello, Mr. Barr. Uh, what'd you say? What could I say? Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Gosh, you're a sight for sore eyes. Well, I reckon you come home to claim that legacy. Yeah. Yeah, you got it ready for me? You bet. But not till you're 21, and that ain't until tomorrow. But come on inside. You, doctor? I'm busy. The trouble with you Indians, you eat too much of the white man's starch foods. Go over at the store and get 10 cents worth of croton oil. Take that. Me not sick? Well, I haven't got time to go right now to see any squaw either. You come with me. I got patients waiting for me. Besides, I have an important appointment. Sorry, doctor. You come with Tonto. No, make noise. Uh... Get away with it now. What do you think will happen when I get a chance to talk with the sheriff? Uh, a masked man. What is this? It is unusual, doctor, but it can't be helped. You're here to help a dying boy. Please, inside. Shot in the chest. He's been unconscious since we found him. Mm, bad, all right. Mm -hmm. What are his chances? I don't know. Maybe I ought to... Ought to what, doctor? Well, it's going to be kind of hard to work on him here. You just do what you can. We'll take care of the boy when you're through. Now, see here, Mr. Whatever your name is. I'm a doctor. I know what's best. All right. But I'll need lots of hot water. Get some water, Tunnel. I'll build up the fire. I left some bandages in there. That wound will have to be dressed every half hour. Watch him closely. We will. I had a wagon, a chance taking him into town. I don't think he could stand it, Doctor. Probably not. Uh, by the way, uh, did you see who shot him? No, I wasn't close enough. Any idea who he is? No, I haven't. You'll have to keep him alive, Doctor. It's the only way we can find out who tried to kill him. I'll do the best I can. However, this ought to be reported to the sheriff, but like you say, the criminals will expose themselves if they think they really killed him. I'm sure it'll be wiser to keep this secret. When the boy can talk, I'll ask him questions. And I'll call him the sheriff. I don't know why I let you talk me into this. In all my years of practice, I've never done anything like it. How do I know who you are? You don't. You'll have to trust me. All right. I'll string along with you. I'll be back tomorrow. In the meantime, watch those bandages. Me watch, doctor. You'd better take care of it. Kim Sabe. Me get no chance to talk to you alone. What about, Tonto? In town, me see men look just like sick boy. What? Him go in bank, talk to banker. Do you know who he was? No, but men in town wear funny clothes. Dirty cowhorn clothes. Manicured fingernails. This book, fancy gun. Guns cost much. Brand new. I have an idea who that young fellow is. Glad you're feeling better. Who are you? Friend. Where am I? You're in a line shack about two hours' ride from Tuckerville. The stage. It was held up. Stage not held up. Someone tried to kill you. We find you in bottom of ditch. Bring you here. How do I... How do I know you didn't shoot me? If I had, I wouldn't be helping you now. I think you'd better tell me your name. I want to talk to the sheriff. No, I don't think that would be a good idea. But you can't leave me here to... to die. At least send for Doc Tucker in town. Tucker? Do you know him? Very, very well. He was my father... my father's best friend. Please. Him say doctor good friend. Why? I don't know, Tuttle. The doctor says he's never seen him before. Him save much trouble if him tell name. I'll find out who he is. I'm going into town to look at that other fellow. You stay close to the shack.
Howdy, Doc. I've been looking all over for you. I had to ride out of town on a case, an urgent case. We had an appointment with you, you remember? I remember. I thought you were supposed to take care of him, Walker, when you stopped that stagecoach. We did, Doc. We threw enough lead on him to finish off a bull. Yeah, you blundering fools. I was forced to go out to a line shack to save his life. I tell you, Walker couldn't be alive, Doc. Where's Emmett? He was over the bank with old man Barr. Now go get him. You know better than to leave him alone with that old crow. And bring us a bar, too. All right. What about that Indian and masked man? Something ought to be done about him, huh? Not just yet. They'll stay close to their patient. I saw to that. How? I told them the bandages had to be changed every half hour. The white man won't let the Indian do it. <laughs> What's so funny? The man with the mask asked me not to say anything to the sheriff until after he'd had a chance to talk to Walker. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, Doc. You just naturally got a face people want to trust. Huh? Honest, Doc, I mean it. Hmm. Where's Bob? Oh, he just went over to the store. I told Dan where he could find him. Howdy, Curly. Howdy. What'd you say? I said, never mind. You know, I'm just dying to set eyes on old Six Guns Kid. Yeah, Six Guns Kid, all right. Spitting image of the old rascal. I never would have forget the time that him and me... Yeah, I know, I know, Ezra. Is the inheritance all ready for him? Sure, I'm all ready for him. Nothing's too good for Six Guns Kid. The doc wants to know if you have the cash ready to give him. Take it easy, Curly. Is the cash ready for him? Oh, yeah. $80,000. That's what Six Gun left him. Probably wanted in cash. Bob wouldn't be silly enough to walk out of my bank with all that money on him. Not the way thieves and murderers are operating in these parts. Well, just look what happened on the stage this morning. Yeah, that was bad. Well, the boy can decide for himself. Well, speaking of the devil, Bob Walker, son of Six Gun. Ah, uh, chip off the old block, my boy. How are you? All right, I guess. Just smile, you fool. I'd like you're glad to see me. Where's Dan? He'll be. We'll be here in a minute. Well, let's see, Bob. It's been a long time since I last saw you. How was the school? You know, I helped old Six Gun select that school for you, my boy. Those are the kind of clothes they wear in city colleges, Bob. <laughs> Why, uh... You see, Bob here doesn't know much about the West. I reckon he thought he'd kind of dress up to come home. I'm going to get out of these things as soon as I leave this room. We ought to have some kind of a celebration for your 21st birthday, Bob. What'd you like to do? Get out of here. That's a good idea. We'll have a party. Watch your step. I promised your pa on his deathbed six years ago that I'd look out for you, son. Well, don't forget, Ezra. I was attending old Six Gun when he breathed his last. I was just as close a friend as you. You'll be a rich boy tomorrow, Bob. Watch your step. I'll take good care of that money, Mr. Barr. What was that noise? Why, uh, I don't hear anything. He had a dizzy spell, fell down. Oh, dizzy spell. I used to have them bad. I remember once, about three years ago, I had one. You give me some pink pills, Doc. That brought me out of it. Maybe you ought to give yes, him some. Yes, yes, Ezra, I'll give him some. Look, you run on back to the bank. I'll take care of Dan. Sure, I'll take care of the bank. See you tomorrow, Bob. That was the masked man. The masked man? Who is he? Take it easy, Dan. I knew something had gone wrong. Shut up, damn it. How much did he hear? I don't know how much he heard, but we're gonna get my hands on him again. We gotta do something fast. We gotta clear out of here. I'll take care of that masked man. I'll go with you. Hold it. Emmett, you'll stay right here with us. You better take Joe with you. You'll find the masked man over at the North Line Shack. Good. Get going. Honest, Doc. Don't you think we ought to clear out of here? No. And I'm sorry you're the only one we could find who looks like Bob Walker. While I was in town, I found out all about you, Bob. Did you bring Doc Tucker? Dr. Tucker was here while you were unconscious. He isn't a friend of yours. I can't believe that. You're lying to me. Tucker is plotting to steal your inheritance. He had you shot and he substituted a young fellow who looks exactly like you. That's foolish. 
So he'll never be able to fool Mr. Ezra Barr, the banker. They've already fooled him. He's turning your money over to an imposter. That's unbelievable. How could they? If you knew all this, why didn't you bring the sheriff back here with you now? Because the sheriff couldn't prove anything. Remember, Bob, you never saw who shot at you or who killed the stage driver. What'll I do? I have a plan. It'll take quite a bit of an effort on your part. I'll try. The doctor won't report this until tomorrow. That means Tano will have to hurry. When we see Sheriff? Sooner than the doctor thinks we will. In the meantime, I want to arrange things here. We're likely to have a visit from the doctor's friends. Been down more than an hour. Dan ought to be back by now. I tell you, something's gone wrong. We ought to ride out to that shack. We ought to ride out of town. We're not going any place. If we go to that line shack, we might be walking into a trap. They must have gotten Dan. Suppose they did. Won't do him any good. The Walker boy's unconscious. He can't tell him anything. If Walker saw who was shooting at him on that stage, you'll be able to tell plenty. Yeah, but he didn't. Well, what do we do? Sit here and wait till they come and get us? What about the sheriff? The man with the mask has a funny notion he doesn't want to talk to the sheriff. That explains part of it. I talked to the sheriff a while ago. He was nice to me. Welcome me home. We have a 10 to 1 chance to win. Let the masked man make the next move. We might as well stay here till morning. We can't be any worse off. Exactly. I'll wake old Ezra early in the morning and get the money transfer over with. For gosh sake, Doc, what's your hurry so early in the morning? It was Bob's idea. He said he was anxious to get this over with. Probably wants to make some investments. Hello, Curly. Howdy. I'll get things ready. Where's Emmett? Well, he left me about a half hour ago. Didn't he come over to the bank? No. You shouldn't have let him out of your sight. Ah, happy birthday, Bob. Well, sit right down here, Bob. We'll have this over in a jiffy. Although I do hate to see all this money in your possession. Stop worrying about his money, Ezra. Give it to him. Yes, sir. It's a fine day for gifts. Sign right there, Bob. Right here, you count this cash. And don't you trust even your best friend. Count it and see if it's all there. I don't have to count it, Mr. Barr. Congratulations, Bob. You're a rich man. You bet I am. And you crooks aren't going to get a dime of it. What's that? Your friend Emmett White is... is... Hold it. You're all finished. What do you mean? It almost worked, Doctor. You and your pals killed the stagecoach driver, and you thought you'd kill the real Bob Walker. Then you substituted one of your own men to collect that legacy. What are you talking about? That's Bob Walker. For once, you're right. That is Bob Walker. Not the one you think it is. That was a blanket roll your men shot at. You've done an awful lot of spouting, but you haven't proved anything. All right, Sheriff. Your other men are in jail. You blundering idiot. Well, the masked man grabbed me. Made me change clothes with Bob. I had to do it this way, Doctor, to catch you red-handed. You see, Sheriff, Bob Walker never saw who shot at him on the stage. He didn't know who was behind all this. <laughs> Doctor. 
Well, Bob, take care of yourself. Don't ride any bronc until that shoulder heals up good. I won't. And besides, I'll have to learn how first. <laughs> Him learn to shoot pretty gun, too. Well, that I'll do. What'd you say? Go on, Mr. Barr. Oh, you bet I'll take care of his money for him. Wish that fellow'd stay around these parts. So do I, Ezra. Say, you know, I never did get his name. What'd you say? What's his name? His name? Why didn't you say so? It's the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger. 